I'm sure you've heard of coaching. Did you know that it's the number one skill of managers? It really does make that much difference. So let's find out a little bit more about what we mean by it. Coaching is very much about a partnership between two people. It's about working together with someone to help them gain perspective, solve problems, work out how to tackle a particular challenge, improve their performance or make change. So how do you coach someone? Well, it's about giving them the time to think, providing that space that we don't get in everyday life and asking questions to help them think about things and perhaps gain a new perspective. What it's not is about giving advice or sharing the benefit of your very fantastic experience. Those last two are really about mentoring. And although mentoring can be great, and as a manager, you'll definitely need to do mentoring at times, coaching is something different. Coaching is very much led by the individual. At times as a manager, it'll be the right thing to coach someone. And at other times, it'll be the right thing to mentor someone. What we wanna make sure is that we're really clear of the difference between the two so that we can make a conscious decision of which we want to choose and so that we get the impact that we're after. The number one skill you need in coaching is to actively listen. In fact, if you did this alone, you'd definitely improve your working relationships with those people that you manage. Of course, you might also need to ask some questions. So you may have learned a bit about questions before, about open and closed questions. Open questions start with one of these words. What I'd like you to do is to listen now to a little short coaching session where someone uses quite a lot of these open questions and just see how you think it goes. Okay, so what's the area of development you'd like us to focus on today? Uh, I think I'd like to improve my presentation skills. Um, and what's the area you're struggling with in that? Uh, confidence, I suppose. So what would make you feel more confident and what's stopping you feeling confident? Don't really know. Have there been times in the past when you've presented confidently? What was happening? How did you feel then? Uh, there was this project I worked on in my last job. So what made you confident then? I don't know. I really knew my topic. So it sounds like that's really important for you. So what can you do to feel better prepared? Put in more time. Okay, so time is a factor. What can you do to help yourself with time? Well, I could delegate some of my tasks, I suppose, to other people. That would free up a bit of time. But you know. So, what tasks do you think you could delegate? Um. Well, I could delegate the rotors to Sam. So, if you delegate that and free up the time, you could do more preparation, which would help with your confidence. Hmm. Now I'd like you to reflect a little bit on how you think that session went. Why not pause the video, grab a pen and paper and answer these questions. We'll be discussing this further in the session later on. So these notes will help you then. So you may have the feeling that that session didn't go too well. So we've got a second session for you to listen to and just have a think about how you feel this one goes. All right, so what area of development would you like us to focus on today? I think I'd really like to improve my presentation skills. Oh, okay. So can you tell me a bit more about that? Yeah, well, it's not really about improving my skills as such. It's more about uh, the things I say or what to say. Uh, I've, heard when I, I've heard others deliver the same message, but when I do it, it always feels a bit fake. Mm, describe what you mean by fake. Uh, it's like I'm reading from someone else's script and uh, the people I'm reading to know that the stories aren't mine. It's like I'm not being authentic. So you feel like you're not being authentic and... Yeah, it's like I don't really believe what I'm saying because I'm not talking from my own experience. So, and whenever I hear Alan present it just reinforces the fact that um, the stories I'm telling are his stories and not my stories. Oh, I see. So I guess I suppose what I need is to find my own stories from my own experience to get the same message across. 
So how do you think this second session went? Pause the video now and take a few moments just to answer these questions again. Hopefully you'll agree that that second session had a lot more impact. So let's focus in now. What was it that the coach did in the second session that was so different? If you're up for it, let's listen to it again and see what we notice. All right, so what area of development would you like us to focus on today? I think I'd really like to improve my presentation skills. Oh, okay. So can you tell me a bit more about that? Yeah, well, it's not really about improving my skills as such. It's more about uh, the things I say or what to say. Uh, I've, heard when I, I've heard others deliver the same message, but when I do it, it always feels a bit fake. Mm, describe what you mean by fake. Uh, it's like I'm reading from someone else's script and uh, the people I'm reading to know that the stories aren't mine. It's like I'm not being authentic. So you feel like you're not being authentic and... Yeah, it's like I don't really believe what I'm saying because I'm not talking from my own experience. So, and whenever I hear Alan present it just reinforces the fact that um, the stories I'm telling are his stories and not my stories. Oh, I see. So I guess I suppose what I need is to find my own stories from my own experience to get the same message across. Keep your notes handy because we'll be discussing this further in our workshop later on. Thanks for watching.